Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And on today's video, we are doing a new topic that I haven't talked about much, but I'm super, super excited for this video. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and I did get a couple of requests from you guys in the comments, and um, I'm, yeah, very excited for this video. So this is going to be a video on Law of Attraction which is huge and it's pretty much how I live my life every single day or at least I try my best to. So in this video I'm going to tell you what it is, um, basically how it can better your life on a daily basis and yeah I'm super super excited to make this video. So if you're interested in the law of attraction and about bettering your life and becoming more positive then please just keep watching. So when it comes to the law of attraction, how did I discover law of attraction? So I was actually on Netflix one day, surprise, surprise, and um, I was in the documentary section, like always, because that's my life, and I actually watched the documentary called The Secret, and it basically was talking about like energy and the universe and how you can like transform your life just by how you think and what you believe in stuff like that so I watched the whole thing and some people might think it's really corny and it definitely did have like a lot of corny vibes to it but the message the core message of it is so good and it definitely changed my life so if you haven't seen that documentary yet I would highly recommend it it's called The Secret um, and yeah, so I saw that and then I became so interested in it that I decided to uh, Google like all about the law of attraction. I started to research it. I was so into it. And it's just, if you don't know what it is, the law of attraction um, in sum is pretty much what you, if you think about positive or negative things, you will create positive or ne negative experiences in your life. So if you are thinking positive thoughts throughout the day, you will experience positive experiences. If you're thinking negative thoughts, only negative experiences will happen to you. So that's pretty much in sum like what the law of attraction is. Um, if you think about it that simply. It does get very complicated when it comes to how to best live out the law of attraction in your life. I still am working on it every single day. It's definitely something that you must practice like anything in order to master. So um, yeah. In this video I'm gonna get into my law of attraction success stories and I would really love for these videos to become um, a theme on my channel so like I want to create a playlist of just my law of attraction success stories I think that would be a really cool thing if um, you guys would do this with me just weekly kind of talk about let me know in the comments or on my Instagram page I'll have the link right up here let me know about all of your success stories for the week so for instance if there's something that you really really want to manifest say it's a relationship, a new partner, um, say it's a new job, say it's a new car, whatever it is that you want to manifest, inner peace, peace of mind, um, you know, just having more of a positive energy, then you have to live every day kind of catering to that. So for instance, if you want a loving relationship you need to act in the ways that you already have it so for instance um, say I'm not gonna use her real name but my friend Jill she really 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 wants a relationship like really bad and she has for a long time but she can't seem to find the right guy for her they're just kind of mean and assholes and just you know like not a great match for her so I told her in order for her to manifest that relationship into her life she has to think positive thoughts and she has to pretend like she already has that relationship the law of attraction works best when you have positive thoughts and you truthfully believe that you can manifest what you want that is when you will manifest it it all has to do with belief and the best form of believing 
that you'll get what you want is if you pretend that you already have it. So if you live out your days like you already have it, for instance, if she treats herself the way that she would like to be treated by someone else, then she will manifest that into her life because she's acting on it. So if she first, the first thing she has to do is say what she wants, which is a relationship, a loving relationship. And then she has to believe that she can receive that effortlessly. And then she has to start living her days like she already has it, meaning she has to be a person that is willing to give that out as well. So she, in order to do this, she can, you know, if she wants a loving relationship that is open communication, she has to communicate with people openly. Every, every person she has to meet, every person she meets, she has to put her walls down, she has to open up and just be herself if she wants to manifest someone that is that will be themselves in front of her you understand so like what you put out into the universe you get back um, so yeah that is what I recommended to my friend Jill and she <laughs> since then since she's been working on this and I've kind of been helping her with that she has manifested this incredible guy into her life like He's everything that she's ever wanted, ever. And it's so great to see her going through this. Um, and she is just the best version of herself living out the law of attraction and just being more positive every single day. So that's a little example of how you could um, manifest a positive relationship is being what you, is being the things you want in someone else. So my own success story is happened very very recently um i actually went for a walk by myself like i do a lot of the time out in nature i think it's very important to just walk out in nature by yourself just being out in nature in general and taking the time to kind of like talk to yourself and like to the universe and kind of like get your thoughts out there. I think like talking out loud to yourself and kind of getting your thoughts in the right state of mind and perspective, things like that, is the only way that you can really um, kind of declutter your thoughts, I guess is the right way of saying it. So I was walking out in nature one day and I was just thinking like, you know, like my life is really, really good, but you know what would make it better? is if I could manifest a new job, if I could manifest a guy who is going to not only be with me in a relationship, but to be with a guy who would care for me just as much as I care for him, and to grow with someone, to really grow with someone, and, and to have someone that wants to grow with me. Um, because you know, I've been in recent situations where that just wasn't the case. I've been with people who just didn't want to grow with me and, you know, I'm just ready. I'm at the point in my life where I don't want to just be dating several people and going through that whole process. I am honestly, like, ready to just find the right person and, yeah, so that's where I'm at. And I was speaking out loud to myself, like just walking. And it was so like therapeutic in the best way. And basically talking to the universe, like letting the universe know like what I want to manifest. And it is definitely like a relationship and a job. And the job, I was just like, you know, like I'm so grateful for all the experiences that I've had in my current job. And you know, I really love the people that I work with and you know, it's been a great road, but I'm ready to move on. I am ready to move on to the next chapter of my life, the next stage, and I want a job that is perfect for me at this point in my life. And that's how you have to put it. You need to put it positively. A job, if you don't know what type of job you want, which is where I'm at, I thought I wanted a marketing position, but I'm currently going for a position that is not marketing at all. It's a management position. And, um, 
since I didn't know what I wanted, I said, Universe, like, I just want a job that would be perfect for me at this stage in my life. A job that will bring me happiness, work-life balance, peace. I just want the perfect job for me at this point in my life. That's how I put it. And literally, not even a week later, I get an email from um, one of my friends of this amazing position and opportunity and I jumped at it immediately. I actually met with my friend. She helped me prepare for this and shout out to you girl, you know who you are. And um, we spent hours and hours and hours preparing for this because she actually currently works for this company and just got hired in this position, which is not an entry level position, it's a higher position. So um, she helped me through that and I will forever be grateful for that. And then I got um, the opportunity, I heard back from them immediately and they had me do like an assessment and all these things and I passed that and then they got back to me again the next day and they said congratulations you're moving on to the next round and I went for an interview I did that and then I just received an email today saying that um, they that the recruiter referred me to someone higher the hiring manager so she will be in contact with me like immediately so tomorrow I'm sure I'll have an email waiting for me and it's just so huge and I can't believe it and I've never felt so positive about a job before like I was I get very 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 anxious about interviews and it's something that I'm working on and you know I took a few days to kind of just decompress and think about like you know, it's really not that serious. And so um, when I actually finally ended up doing the interview, it was the best interview ever. It was a video interview and I, which means that you're, you do it on your laptop with your webcam and it's like recorded on a website. You have only a minute to view the question before it starts recording. And there, there were a couple people in my life right now that were like, Joss, like, you're so used to this. Like, you're on YouTube. You're so used to just talking to a camera, and it's, like, natural to you. And I was like, oh my god, like, you're right. Like, that's so true. So true. And so I actually looked at it like that, and once I started the interview, it was just so easy going and I had asked I'd asked the universe before that I was like please please just let this interview go effortlessly and smoothly and that I look confident and things like that and when I went for the interview it was just like so natural to me it was crazy I I just like acted like I was talking to you guys and you know I like was joking and I was laughing and like, it was so relaxed, and I know that I killed that interview for a fact. I 100% believe it. I know I killed it, and I'm wicked excited, and I just can't believe that this is manifesting as fast um, as it is. I guess I'm, I haven't really experienced something manifest so fast in my life, and I feel like a lot of things are, like that I asked for this one day that I went on this walk and actually took an hour just to myself for once to kind of get my thoughts right. And then, so that was the job portion of it. So now the relationship part of it, I was like, I really just want to manifest a guy in my life who, you know, puts all of the effort forward and is caring as much as I'm caring, is compassionate, is passionate, you know, is open-minded, likes the same things I do, we have a lot in common, things like that, and I literally said that. And that night, I received a message on a dating app I was on from someone that I haven't talked to or seen since high school. And um, it was like pretty crazy how it like all happened that night when I think about it. Um, and long story short, we ended up going on a date and 
um, I realized like, wow, like this person's like really cool. And the more we started hanging out and the more dates we started going on, I was like, oh my God, like the way that he's treated me in the past, like I want to say like month now has been everything that I've ever wanted. Like, it's crazy guys. It's crazy. I, and I don't know how to process it. Like I'm trying to process it and I'm like, oh my God. But like, I'm still so like shocked that this is exactly what I asked for. The amount of effort, the amount of like care, like everything. And it's everything that I have never like experienced before in a relationship. So I just, I'm trying to wrap my head around it and it's really crazy. And I'm so grateful for it. It's just so crazy that all these things are manifesting in my life, not even like a month later. Like, it's so crazy to me. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Oh, and also another law of attraction success story was I bought myself scratch tickets. This was at the beginning after I watched The Secret. I was like, I'm just going to try this out, see how it works. And I fully believed that I was going to win on the scratch ticket. Like, I knew it was going to happen. I could just feel it. I was like, yep, like, bought this. I want that one right there. That's the winner. And I, like, looked at the guy and I told him that. And he's like, all right, all right. Like, I was like, you watch. I was like, I'll be back tonight to cash this in. <laughs> and he probably thought I was, like, insane. He probably gets that, like, all the time. And I scratched the scratch ticket. And... I still have it right here and I actually never cash it in because I like leave it over there until like so that I can like look at myself and know that like bam like I manifested that. Um, these are scratch tickets. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Total on these I won $20 and they're $5 scratch tickets so I won $10 um, but yeah it's it's such a small amount, but I still won. So ever since then, I'm like, still won. That was pretty cool for sure. And I just leave that over there to remind myself of the law of attraction and like winning and like whatever you believe in, like you can manifest. So yeah. And that's how I am with like a lot of like sports games too. Like, I don't know. I feel like with the Patriots and stuff, like I'm always like, oh no, like they're going to win. Like I literally, when I say I have no doubts, like, I don't have any doubts, and I think that is so important to not have any doubts. Um, because the second you doubt yourself, or like you doubt the thing that you're trying to manifest, is the second it will not come to you at all. Um, so, you have to train your brain to not have any doubts and to just be open, to just be open to receiving. And that can be very hard. I feel like that is the hardest part, is being open to receiving, for me at least. Um, because I do, I do, when, especially when it comes to like interviewing and stuff like that, like I have my doubts, I'm like, oh my god, like, am I going to know how to answer every question? Like, I just get like such anxiety about it on another level. But I learned that like, breathing slowly before you start something that stresses you out is huge. Taking the time to maybe take like five minutes before you start something that like gives you a lot of anxiety and stresses you out and just breathing slowly, like... And doing that like a few times is like the cure to like your anxiety in that moment I swear that and meditating I don't meditate like a lot but um, if I do like I'll do like five minutes of just like sitting there and just like relaxing and I swear like it just changes my entire mood for the day in the best way and I can conquer anything whenever I do it so I should definitely do it more often now that I think about it but um, yeah, so law of attraction is so important. I think everyone should really learn about it. I think they should honestly teach it in schools, but they don't because it's not like a scientific like fact, but it is one of the universal laws. So I feel like that's like saying something. <laughs> so I'm also huge into crystals. Crystals are like my favorite thing ever. And this is... This might be like different for some people and a lot of people don't believe in crystals and that's completely fine. I don't think anyone should ever be like f f 
like anyone should ever feel like they should be forced to like believe in something but I think when you do believe in something then it's true for you and then that's all that matters at the end of the day so crystals are so pure they're one of the purest things on earth I believe that crystals give off this incredible pure energy that you can't receive from anything else um, they are literally a perfect piece of the earth like if you don't know much about crystals I would definitely recommend it um, I just like I need to just like they're so beautiful each one is so unique and I'm huge on like stones and crystals and minerals things like that they're just like so pretty and so unique in their own way and this makes me this one makes me really happy because it's my favorite color which is turquoise and yeah so crystals law of attraction things like that make me wicked happy and if you don't know a lot about them i would definitely recommend um researching it and looking it up more i would definitely recommend watching the documentary the secret on netflix and also my favorite youtube YouTubers that make videos about the law of attraction is definitely number one, Lior Alexandra. She is amazing and she's beautiful and I aspire to be like her one day for sure. Um, she makes very in-depth law of attraction videos. This is my first one so I definitely don't want to go like too in-depth but um, yeah so she's my favorite and also Sam Oscarell is my second favorite and she just started making law of attraction videos recently i've been following her for a long time and she is awesome so um shout out to them too and also melissa alexandra is another one who's really good she's so like calming and her presence is just like amazing on camera so i really like those three and um also, one of my top ones is Ralph Smart or Infinite Waters on YouTube. He is amazing and he's teach he has taught me pretty much everything I know about the law of attraction. So he he might he might um, be up there, my number one actually. He's taught me everything there is to know. He posts videos every single day on like the law of attraction and how to better your life and how to live like a positive lifestyle and things like that he's just like amazing he's so like his own person and i love it so much so yeah those are my favorite law of attraction youtubers for sure um i definitely like i said i want to make more videos like this and create like a playlist of like your law of attraction success stories i would love to hear all about those um and yeah let me know in the comments like if you have any right now, if you have any success stories, if you've heard of the Law of Attraction, let me know how you found out about it. If you don't know, let me know some video requests that you have down below as to how to manifest a certain thing in your life, um, or if you just have any questions about it in general. I would love to answer them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And most importantly, thank you all so much. I reached 2,000 subscribers on YouTube today. And I'm so grateful and I'm so happy. And that is another thing that I manifested. When I made my perfume collection video, I said I know for a fact that this video is going to be a huge hit. And today it has over 178,000 views, which is just, I still can't wrap my head around on that so yeah thank you guys so much for subscribing to me and watching my videos and just being so loyal to me I really really appreciate it and 2,000 subscribers is just unbelievable I didn't think I would get this far this fast so I just really wanted to take the time in this video to say thank you and I love you each and every one of you so much and yeah um, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell button to get notifications, and follow me on Instagram. My link will be up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.